Authorities are sharing more information on the terror attack plot that resulted in the cancellation of Taylor Swift's Vienna concerts. Just one day after authorities arrested a 19-year-old for allegedly plotting attacks at large events in Vienna, Austria, including Taylor Swift's three-night heiress tour residency, they are now revealing more details regarding the plan. Officials explain in an August 8th press conference that the man, who has been classified as a primary suspect, confessed that he planned to kill himself and a large number of other people with knives and explosive devices. Per NBC News, the head of Austria's Directorate of State Security and Intelligence, Omar Hajawi Perchner, reveals during the press conference that the suspect, who is an Austrian native, had downloaded manuals for bomb building. Authorities were also able to determine paraphernalia in the prime suspect's apartment, including hydrogen peroxide, homemade explosives, detonators, and detonator cables. Hijawi Perchner also provides further details on the second suspect who was arrested on the afternoon of August 7th, a 17-year-old Austrian citizen with Turkish and Croatian roots. The directorate says that the second suspect had been employed by a company that would have provided services at Taylor's Vienna shows, although specific details of their service was not clarified. In the home of the second suspect, authorities confirmed they found materials for the Salafi Hajjadist group ISIS as well as Al-Qaeda, alongside screenshotted images and videos of home laboratories. Following the cancellation of Taylor's August 8th, 9th, and 10th shows, the Metropolitan Police in London, the next stop on her tour, confirmed to the Associated Press that there is no indicated link between the Austrian terror plot and the upcoming Wembley Stadium concerts that are set to kick off on August 15th. E! News has reached out to reps for Taylor regarding the terrorist plot and subsequently cancelled shows, as well as her upcoming London shows, but has not yet heard back.